We've talked a lot on the YouTube channel about Back for Blood and this game that is very anticipated by many of us guys from, of course, the developers over at Turtle Rock Studios who worked on the Left for Dead franchise. And it's been one that we've been waiting on for quite some time. And I want to go ahead and talk about everything that we know now about Back for Blood. So let's get into it. So in an article, guys, written by Jared Eden of Windows Central, it's been too long, Turtle Rock. And I 100 100% agree with that right off the bat, guys. It has felt like a long time since we heard any further information from Turtle Rock about left uh, for, about Back for Blood, and um, I gotta say, I'm really excited about it. In 2019, Warner Brothers Games announced Back for Blood in a press release, and ever so recently, we received a more in-depth look at the 2020 Video Game Awards. Back for Blood is a title that zombie genre fans have been waiting for for a long time. This is a brand new cooperative zombie slaying title by Turtle Rock Studios, the creators of the critically acclaimed Left 4 Dead games. Not a, not a remake or a simple refresh of Left 4 Dead, but a bold new title for fans to enjoy. And I gotta say, guys, what... Uh, Valve did with the Left 4 Dead franchise is just really unfortunate. It feels like Valve more and more guys are becoming like one of those publishers that just doesn't really care much about their IPs. They don't really care about CSGO much and that's like one of their biggest. Dota, even of course Left 4 Dead has not seen the light of day in a long time and so Turtle Rock Studios decided let's go ahead and let's take this concept and kind of run with it in our own way because there is a huge fan base that still wants more Left 4 Dead but we'll just come back with it with Back for Blood, and I think it's absolutely awesome, and it throws a lot of shade on none other than Valve. But what is Back for Blood? Back for Blood is a brand new cooperative zombie slaying first person shooting title by Turtle Rock Studios, the same folks who created the widely loved and critically acclaimed Left 4 Dead games. Back for Blood is being published in partnership with Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. Turtle Rock Studios aims to bring the definitive next gen co op zombie shooter, a genre they created with Back for Blood. Now, as far as the gameplay is concerned, guys, like most zombie titles, the story takes place after a devastating parasite has swept the world, destroying humanity. Most people have either become infected or have been killed by the parasitic devil worm and have become zombie-like beings called the Ridden. It's up to you to help rid the world of these monstrosities as a part of the squad called the Cleaners. You will no longer be looking for shelter to hide in, but instead clearing hordes of zombies to make areas safe once again. And I like I like the concept, to say the least, guys. You will participate. And the usual four-player co-op experience that Left 4 Dead fans are familiar with. This can be done with friends or solo with AI companions. There's also an eight-player PvP mode where players can take on the form of a mutated zombie uh, to c give the cleaners a rough time. Along with these modes is the addition of something called the Game Director. The Game Director will show a set of corrupted cards that provide a wide variety of randomized var variables for each mission. I just love the, the variety here, guys. I like that you're going to be able to play by yourself. You'll be able to play with friends. You'll be able to play play PvP against other people out there, that's something that's really awesome. Now, some of the different zombies, guys, are called sprinters, hawkers, ogre, bruisers, and wretches. Um, very different, you know, um, some different names, obviously, that they've come up with, uh, you know, of course, you know, uh, compared to that of Left 4 Dead. Now, hopefully, this will provide a fresh, fun, and unique experience every time you go to play Back for Blood, even if it's re repeatedly playing the same mission. The cards can provide variables such as increased fog, large zombie hordes, and more mutated zombies. You will also get to, know, to, to own a set of cards to help counteract the corrupted cards the game director has set before you. Admittedly, Back for Blood is bad to be very similar to Left 4 Dead, meaning audio will be useful in many situations and could even save you from a zombie or two. Hear every gurgle and growl with our rundown of the best Xbox Series X S for 2020. And now which platforms? So, Back for Blood will be available on a wide variety of platforms. The game is currently announced for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Steam, and the Epic Games Store. You can currently pre-order the game and choose between the Standard Edition, Deluxe Edition, or Ultimate Edition. Now, when is Back for Blood coming out? So this is where it gets exciting, guys. Back for Blood is currently set to launch during the summer of 2021 on June 22nd. Considering how recent events have been, the chances of a delay are always possible. This launch date could very easily be pushed to a later point in the year. This may not end up being the case, but the chance is always there. And I agree. Look, I've, I've really pleaded that, you know, developers need to 
be on point with whether when they're going to release uh, a game. And I understand with the pandemic and everything going on, it makes it really difficult. But we're seeing this a, a recurring theme where these games are getting pushed back to later dates. And a lot of people, uh, you know, forget about these games. And people who want like to to play them um, may you know forget about the the game that is even coming out, and it could really hurt with the launch and so on and so forth. It's just not good for anybody. Wait until the game is ready to go and give us a release date that you're going to be able to stick to. You look at the film industry, you look at a lot of those other industries. Sure, during the pandemic, there's been a lot of, you know, pushback, a lot of, you know, uh, you know, release changes and things of that nature. But I really hope that Back for Blood sticks with this June 22nd, 2021 release date. Um, but yeah, it's, you got to take it with a pinch of salt, guys, because of everything that's going on in the world right now. So... Is Back for Blood Left for Dead 3? No, Back for Blood is not Left for Dead 3. Turtle Rock Studios wants to do something more than what Left for Dead is while still keeping that same core gameplay that fans love. They are working closely with the community to help shape this title, ensuring the fans will get a product that they will enjoy. The developers of Turtle Rock have also taken it upon themselves to playtest the game almost every day and have been doing so since the third month of production. So guys, I gotta say... I am very excited about this title. This is one of my most anticipated games of 2021, to say the least. I'm a huge horror fan. I love horror games, horror movies. Um, I cannot wait to play this game because, look, I have wanted a sequel to Left 4 Dead 2, that being in the form of Left 4 Dead 3. But since Valve, obviously, is kind of almost seems like they've abandoned that IP, I think now Back for Blood can kind of quench that thirst and it could even be better than Left 4 Dead. I mean, who knows? We love the Left 4 Dead games, but Back for Blood could really, with the updated graphics and all of those things and Back for Blood, or I should say Turtle Rock Studios being the ones who worked on Left 4 Dead, I think that this could be a great opportunity for them to make Back for Blood even better than Left 4 Dead and kind of one-up what they did with that franchise. But let me know, guys. Are you guys excited about Back for Blood? What do you all think? Let me know in the comment section down below and let's have a real conversation about it. And for more Back for Blood content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.